Asha. Today we are going to see about the last part of sorting materials into group that is a continuation of properties of materials. First we are going to see about density. Density of a substance is defined as mass per unit volume. The substance of the higher density than that of the water sinks to the bottom while the substance of the lower density than that of the water floats at the top. From the picture it is observed that the cork has lower density than that of the oil, block, water, grape and syrup. So it floats at the top. But the syrup has higher density than that of the other materials. So it sinks to the bottom. Do you know the ice in your drink floats? Yes, the ice in your drink floats. Ice is a solid and it should be heavier than its liquid and sink. But ice is an exception. It is 9% less denser to compare to water due to the arrangement of atoms of hydrogen and oxygen in a molecules of water. Next we are going to see about the physical states of matter. We all know that water exists in three forms. Water, water vapor and ice. The water we drink is a liquid state of water. When we boil the water, it changes into water vapor or steam. This is the gaseous state of water. When we freeze the water, it changes into ice. Ice is the solid state of water. Many substances have three states, solid, liquid and gas. These three states are known as the physical states of matter. Solids. In solid state, the particles are tightly packed. Intermolecular force of attraction is very strong. They have definite volume and definite shape. But the molecules in solid cannot move around. But however, they can vibrate. Example, wood, glass. Liquid state. Particles are less tightly packed. Intermolecular force of attraction is not strong as solid. They have definite volume but not definite shape. It takes the shape of the container where it is put. Example, water, petrol. Gaseous state. Particles are loosely packed. Intermolecular force of attraction is very weak. The molecules move freely. They have neither definite shape nor definite volume. Example, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, etc. Next, we are going to see about conductivity, malleability and ductility. Conductivity. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. They allow heat and electricity to pass through it. That's why cooking vessels are made up of metals. Similarly, electric wires are made of metals such as copper and aluminium. Wood and plastic are bad conductors of heat and electricity. They don't allow heat and electricity to pass through them. That is why some uh, switcher boards and switches are made up of plastic. That prevents us from getting shock, electric shock. Malleability. Metals are malleable. Malleability is a property which allows metals to be hammered into thin sheets. Example, gold and silver. Ductility. Metals are ductile. They can be drawn into thin wires. The property which allows the metals to be drawn into wires is called ductility. Example, gold and silver. Tungsten metal is used to make the wires of a filament of the electric bulb. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Also leave your comments below. I will meet you in the next video. Until then bye bye from Sasha.